Kumbh Mela or Kumbha Mela or is a mass Hindu pilgrimage of faith in which Hindus gather to bathe in a sacred or holy river. Traditionally, four fairs are widely recognized as the Kumbh Milas, the Haridwar Kumbh Mela, the Prayag Kumbh Mela, the Nashik Trimbakeshwar Simistha, and Ujjain Simistha. These four fairs are held periodically at one of the following places by rotation, Haridwar, Prayag Prayaga, Nashik District Nashik and, Trimbak, and Ujjain. The main festival site is located on the banks of a river, the Ganges Ganga at Haridwar, the confluence Sangam of the Ganges and the Yamuna and the invisible Sarasvati at Prayag, the Godavari at Nashik, and the Shipra at Ujjain. Bathing in these rivers is thought to cleanse a person of all their sins. At any given place, the Kumbh Mela is held once in ten years. There is a difference of around three years between the Kumbh Milas at Haridwar and Nashik. The fairs at Nashik and Ujjain are celebrated in the same year or one year apart. The exact date is determined, as per Vikram Samvat calendar and the principles of Jyotisha, according to a combination of zodiac positions of the Jupiter, the Sun and the Moon. At Nashik and Ujjain, the Mela may be held while a planet is in Leo Simha in Hindu astrology, in this case, it is also known as Simistha. At Haridwar and Prayag, an Arda half, Kumbh Mela is held every sixth year, a Maha great, Kumbh Mela occurs after 144 years. The priests at other places have also claimed their local fairs to be Kumbh Milas. For example, the Mahamaham festival at Kumbakonam, held once in 12 years, is also portrayed as a Kumbh Mela. The exact age of the festival is uncertain. According to medieval Hindu mythology, Lord Vishnu dropped drops of Amrita, the drink of immortality, at four places while transporting it in a kumbha pot. These four places are identified as the present-day sites of the Kumbh Mela. The name, Kumbh Mela, literally means, Kumbh Fair. It is known as, Kumbh, in Hindi, due to Shwa deletion, in Sanskrit and some other Indian languages, it is more often known by its original name, Kumbha. The festival is one of the largest peaceful gatherings in the world, and considered as the, world's largest congregation of religious pilgrims. There is no precise method of ascertaining the number of pilgrims, and the estimates of the number of pilgrims bathing on the most auspicious day may vary. An estimated 120 million people visited Maha Kumbh Mela in 2013 in Prayag over a two month period, including over 30 million on a single day, on 10 February 2013, the day of Mani Amavasya. It has been inscribed on the UNESCO's representative list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Topic. Mythological origin According to medieval Hindu mythology, the origin of the festival can be found in the ancient legend of Samudra Manthan. The legend tells of a battle between the Devas and Asuras for Amrita, the drink of immortality. During Samudra Manthan, or churning of the ocean, Amrita was produced and placed in a kumbha pot. To prevent the Asuras malevolent beings from seizing the Amrita, a divine carrier flew away with the pot. In one version of the legend, the carrier of the Kumbha is the divine physician Donavantari, who stops at four places where the Kumbh Mela is celebrated. In other retellings, the carrier is Garuda, Indra or Mahini, who spills the Amrita at four places, while several ancient texts, including the various Puranas, mention the Samudra Manthan legend, none of them mention spilling of the Amrita at four places. Neither do these texts mention the Kumbh Mela. Therefore, multiple scholars, including R. B. Bhattacharya, D. P. Dubby and Kama McLean believe that the Samudra Manthan legend has been applied to the Kumbh Mela relatively recently, in order to show scriptural authority for it. History There are several references to riverside festivals in ancient Indian texts, but the exact age of the Kumbh Mela is uncertain. The Chinese traveler Zanzong Sang describes a ritual organized by Emperor Shiladitya identified with Harsha at the confluence of two rivers, in the kingdom of Po Lo Yi Kia identified with Prayaga. He also mentions that many hundreds took a bath at the confluence, to wash away their sins. According to some scholars, this is the earliest surviving historical account of the Kumbh Mela, which took place in present-day Prayag in 644 CE. 
However, Australian researcher Kama McLean notes that the Zanzang reference is about an event that happened every five years and not twelve years, and might have been a Buddhist celebration since, according to Zanzang, Harsha was a Buddhist emperor. A common conception, advocated by the Akaras, is that Adi Shankara started the Kumbh Mela at Prayag in 8th century, to facilitate meeting of holy men from different regions. However, academics doubt the authenticity of this claim. The Kumbh Mela of Haridwar appears to be the original Kumbh Mela, since it is held according to the astrological sign, Kumbha, Aquarius, and because there are several references to a 12 year cycle for it. The earliest extant texts that contain the name, Kumbha Mela, are Kulasat Ut Tawarik and Shahar Gulshan. Both these texts use the term, Kumbh Mela. To describe only Haridwar's fair, although they mention the similar fairs held in Prayag and Nashik district. The Kulasat Uttawarik lists the following melas an annual mela and a kumbh mela every twelve years at Haridwar, a mela held at Trimbak when Jupiter enters Leo, that is, once in twelve years, and an annual mela held at Prayag in Ma. The Ma Mela of Prayag is probably the oldest among these, dating from the early centuries CE, and has been mentioned in several Puranas. However, its association with the Kumbha myth and the twelve-year-old cycle is relatively recent, probably dating back to the mid-19th century. D. P. Dubby notes that none of the ancient Hindu texts mention the Prayag fair as a Kumbh Mela. Kama McLean states that even early British records do not mention the name Kumbh Mela or the twelve-year cycle for the Prayag fair. The first British reference to the Kumbh Mela in Prayag occurs only in an 1868 report, which mentions the need for increased pilgrimage and sanitation controls at the Kumbh Fair to be held in January 1870. According to Maclean, the Prayagwal Brahmin priests of Prayag adapted their annual Ma Mela to Kumbh legend, in order to increase the importance of their Tirtha. The Kumbh Mela at Ujjain began in the 18th century, when the Maratha ruler Ranoji Shind invited ascetics from Nashik to Ujjain for a local festival. Like the priests at Prayag, the pandits of Nashik and Ujjain, competing with other places for a sacred status, may have adopted the Kumbh tradition for their pre existing Milas. Until the East India Company rule, the Kumbh Milas were managed by the Akaras sects of religious ascetics known as the Sadhus. They collected taxes, and also carried out policing and judicial duties. The Sadhus were heavily militarized, and also participated in trade. The Milas were a scene of sectarian politics, which sometimes turned violent. The Shahar Gulshan states that the local sannyasis at Haridwar attacked the Fakirs of Prayag who came to attend the Kumbh Mela there. At the 1760 Kumbh Mela in Haridwar, a clash broke out between Shaivite Gosains and Vaishnavite Barajas ascetics, resulting in hundreds of deaths, with Vaishnavite forming most of the victims. A copper plate inscription of the Maratha Peshwa claims that 12,000 ascetics died in a clash between Shaivite Sannyasis and Vaishnavite Barajas at the 1789 Nashik Kumbh Mela. The dispute started over the bathing order, which indicated status of the Akaras. At the 1796 Kumbh Mela in Haridwar, the Shaivites attacked and injured the Udasis for erecting a camp without their permission. In response, the Khalsa Sikhs accompanying the Udasis killed around 500 Gosains. The Sikhs lost around 20 men in the clash. The clashes subsided after the company administration severely limited the trader warrior role of the Sadhus, who were increasingly reduced to begging. Besides their religious significance, historically the Kumbh Milas were also major commercial events. Baptist missionary John Chamberlain, who visited the 1824 Ard Kumbh Mela at Haridwar, stated that a large number of visitors came there for trade. He noted that the fair was attended by multitudes of every religious order, including a large number of Sikhs. According to an 1858 account of the Haridwar Kumbh Mela by the British civil servant Robert Montgomery Martin, the visitors at the fair included people from a number of races and religions. Besides priests, soldiers, and religious mendicants, the fair was attended by several merchants, including horse traders from Bukhara, Kabul, Turkestan, Arabia and Persia. Several Hindu Rajas, Sikh rulers and Muslim Nawabs visited the fair. A few Christian missionaries also preached at the Mela. The Kumbh Milas played an important role in spread of the cholera outbreaks and pandemics. The British administrators made several attempts to improve the sanitary conditions at the Milas, but thousands of people died of cholera at these fairs until the mid 20th century. Several stampedes have occurred at the Kumbh Milas. 
After an 1820 stampede at Haridwar that killed 485 people, the company government took extensive infrastructure projects, including construction of new ghats and road widening, to prevent further stampedes. Since then, Haridwar has experienced fewer deaths in stampedes. The next big stampede occurred in 1986, when 50 people were killed. Prayag has also experienced major stampedes, in 1840, 1906, 1954, 1986, and 2013. The deadliest of these was the 1954 stampede, which left 800 people dead. Topic. Places Traditionally, the fairs at the following four sites are recognized as Kumbh Milas, Prayag, Allahabad, Haridwar, Trimbak Nashik and Ujjain. The Kumbh Mela in the Nashik district was originally held at Trimbak, but after a 1789 clash between Vaishnavites and Saivites over precedence of bathing, the Maratha Peshwa shifted the Vaishnavites' bathing place to Ramkand in Nashik city. The Shaivites continue to regard Trimbak as the proper location. Priests at other places have also attempted to boost the status of their Tirtha by adapting the Kumbh legends. The places whose festivals have been claimed as Kumbh Mela include Varanasi, Vrindavan, Tirumakudal Narsipur, Kumbakonam and Rajim, Rajim Kumbh. Even Tibet has hosted a festival claimed to be a Kumbh Mela. Each site's celebration dates are calculated in advance according to a special combination of zodiacal positions of Burhaspati Jupiter, Surya the Sun, and Chandra the Moon. Topic: <laughs> Dates. The Kumbh Mela occurrences follow the Hindu calendar as follows. The Kumbh Mela, sometimes specifically called Purna Kumbh or Full Kumbha occurs every 12 years at a given site. Ard Kumbh, half Kumbh Mela occurs between the two Purna Kumbha Milas at Prayag and Haridwar. The Maha Kumbh occurs after 12 Purna Kumbh Milas, i.e., every 144 years. The Kumbh Mela at Prayag is celebrated after approximately three years of Kumbh Mela at Haridwar. There is a difference of around three years between the Kumbh festivals at Prayag and Nashik. Kumbh at Nashik and Ujjain are celebrated in the same year or one year apart. Attendance According to the Imperial Gazetteer of India, an outbreak of cholera occurred at the 1892 Mela at Haridwar leading to the rapid improvement of arrangements by the authorities and to the formation of Haridwar Improvement Society. In 1903 about 400,000 people are recorded as attending the fair. During the 1954 Kumbh Mela stampede at Prayag, around 500 people were killed, and scores were injured. Ten million people gathered at Haridwar for the Kumbh on 14 April 1998. In 2001, more than 40 million gathered on the busiest of its 55 days. According to the Mela administration's estimates, around 70 million people participated in the 45 day Arda Kumbh Mela at Prayag in 2007. The 2001 Kumbh Mela at Prayag was estimated by the authorities to have attracted between 30 and 70 million people. The estimated attendance for the 2013 Prayag Kumbh Mela was 120 million. Topic: The ritual. One of the major events of Kumbh Mela is the Peshwai procession, which marks the arrival of the members of an akara or sect of sadhus at the Kumbh Mela. The major event of the festival is ritual bathing at the banks of the river in whichever town Kumbh Mela being held, Ganga in Haridwar, Godavari in Nasik, K. Shipra in Ujjain and Sangam confluence of Ganga, Yamuna and mythical Saraswati in Allahabad Prayag. Nasik has registered maximum visitors to 75 million. Other activities include religious discussions, devotional singing, mass feeding of holy men and women and the poor, and religious assemblies where doctrines are debated and standardized. Kumbh Mela is the most sacred of all the pilgrimages. Thousands of holy men and women attend, and the auspiciousness of the festival is in part attributable to this. The sadhus are seen clad in saffron sheets with vibhuti ashes dabbed on their skin as per the requirements of ancient traditions. Some, called Naga Sannyasis, may not wear any clothes even in severe winter. The right to be Naga, or naked, is considered a sign of separation from the material world. The order of entering the water is fixed, with the Juna, the Niranjani, and Mahanirvani Akaras proceeding. After visiting the Kumbh Mela of 1895, Mark Twain wrote 
Topic. Darshan Darshan, or respectful visual exchange, is an important part of the Kumbh Mela. People make the pilgrimage to the Kumbh Mela specifically to observe and experience both the religious and secular aspects of the event. Two major groups that participate in the Kumbh Mela include the sadhus Hindu holy men and pilgrims. Through their continual yogic practices the sadhus articulate the transitory aspect of life. Sadhus travel to the Kumbh Mela to make themselves available to much of the Hindu public. This allows members of the Hindu public to interact with the sadhus and to take darshan. They are able to seek instruction or advice in their spiritual lives. Darshan focuses on the visual exchange, where there is interaction with a religious deity and the worshipper is able to visually drink divine power. The kumbh mela is arranged in camps that give Hindu worshippers access to the sadhus. The darshan is important to the experience of the kumbh mela and because of this worshippers must be careful so as to not displease religious deities. Seeing of the sadhus is carefully managed and worshippers often leave tokens at their feet. <laughs> kumbh mela in media Kumbh mela has received extensive media coverage, with several documentaries and films based on it. Kumbh Mela has been theme for many a documentaries, including Kings with Straw Mats 1998, directed by Ira Cohen, Kumbh Mela, The Greatest Show on Earth 2001, directed by Graham Day, Short Cut to Nirvana, Kumbh Mela 2004, directed by Nick Day and produced by Maurizio Bonazzo. Kumbh Mela, Songs of the River 2004 by Nadim Adin, Invocation, Kumbh Mela 2008, Kumbh Mela, Walking with the Nagas 2011, Amrit, Nectar of Immortality 2012 directed by Jonas Choi and Philip Iyer, Inside the Mahakam 2013 by the National Geographic Channel and Kumbh Mela 2013, Living with Mahatyagi 2013 by the Ukrainian Religious Studies Project Ahamat, Indian and foreign news media have covered the Kumbh Mela regularly. On 18 April 2010, a popular American morning show CBS News Sunday Morning extensively covered Haridwar's Kumbh Mela, calling it, "...the largest pilgrimage on earth." On 28 April 2010, BBC reported an audio and a video report on Kumbh Mela, titled, "...Kumbh Mela Greatest Show on Earth." Young siblings getting separated at the Kumbh Mela were once a recurring theme in Hindi movies. Amrita Kumhir Sandhane, a 1982 Bengali feature film directed by Dilip Roy, also documents the Kumbh Mela. On 30 September 2010, the Kumbh Mela featured in the second episode of the Sky One TV series, An Idiot Abroad, with Carl Pilkington visiting the festival. In 2015, the Nashik Kumbha Mela became a technology-savvy festival due to a collaboration of the city government with MIT Media Lab and Kumbhathon Foundation in Nashik. This received significant media coverage in Wall Street Journal, BBC and Guardian. The Nashik Kumbh Mela was considered one of the most peaceful and successful as there were no stampedes, no epidemic or separated families reported. Well-known photographer John Werner captured the Kumbh Mela and released the photographs under Creative Commons. Topic. See also Similar festivals, Mahamaham and Pushkaram List of largest gatherings in history References Bibliography McLean, Kama Pilgrimage and Power, The Kumbh Mela in Allahabad, 1765–1954 OUPUSA. ISBN 978-0-19-533894-2. Harvard University, South Asia Institute 2015, Kumbh Mela, Mapping the Ephemeral Megacity New Delhi, Nyoga Books. ISBN 9789385285. Kumbh Mela, Kumbh Mela, Kumbh Mela, Official website Nashik Trimbakeshwar Simistha Eugene Simistha